Hey, shalom everyone. This is Dr. Durr. I'd like to welcome you back to the Wake Up Yasharel channel. Today we're going into Daily Scriptural Prescription, DSP number 16. And today's topic is, No Weapon Formed Shall Prosper. Coming from the book of Isaiah, the 54th chapter and the 17th verse. The Hebrew word for Isaiah is Yasha Yahu. So we're going to read here. And talk to you for a minute. What well, y'all important to my heart. It was just a little, I call it gold nuggets that y'all keep dropping in my spirit. And it says, Saints, our enemies are trying to get that last hit. And because they are on their last leg, that means it's coming to a closure. The enemy's reign is almost over. The sort of part of scripture says in the book of Ezra that Esau is the end of the world. But Jacob is the beginning. Esau is on the last leg. It's almost over. The rug is being pulled out from under them. Listen, and they only have but a short season to do everything they're going to do. Because our redemption is right around the corner. Or as the scripture says, our redemption is drawing nigh. So they are throwing everything imaginable at us to destroy our very being. But it won't work. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to read our set apart scripture for the day. I want you to be encouraged. Keep moving forward and don't quit and don't stop. Yeshua Yahu, Isaiah 54 and 17, coming from the Sefer, or the Sefer scriptures. No weapon that is formed against you. Hear what I just said? No weapon. No matter if it's a word weapon, an actual weapon, people coming against you, talking behind your back, losing a job, going through in relationships, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Remember the set apart scriptures say we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, spiritual wickedness in high places, rulers of the darkness. We are fighting a spiritual warfare. It's not a natural warfare, even though we're living in the natural arena, but it's more spiritual than it is natural. We're living here in the natural because this is our assignment. This is who we are. We here as Yah's purpose to fulfill his divine purpose on this earth. So we're here to stand with Yah and go all the way with him. So it says, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. It ain't gonna come to pass. And every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of Yahuwah and their righteousness is of me, said Yahuwah. What did the set apart scripture say in 2 Corinthians? It said he became sin for us, talking about Yahushua that knew no sin, that we might become the righteousness of Yah in Mashiach. So Yah has made us righteous. We have, we were not righteous. We were unrighteous, living in unrighteous ways, living in sin and wickedness, fighting against the Torah, fighting against Yah's commands. So therefore we were unrighteous. But once we accepted his son, Yahushua, we became righteous. He made us righteous through the blood of the lamb. That's why you need to keep these set apart scriptures before your face. Like this one, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. That's Tehillim, Psalms 23 and 4, coming from the Sefer Scriptures. Here's another one. Be still and know that I am Yahuwah. Psalms, Tehillim 4 to 6 and 10. Keep this in your mind. Keep that in your spirit. Settle yourself. Be at peace. He will keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Say, so you have to understand, Yah has our back. He's on our side. If he be for us, Romans 8 and 31, who can be against us? Are you hearing me? If he be for us, then who can be against us? I want to read to you from the book of Luke 21. I just quoted the scripture a few minutes ago. These are the things that's happening now. The enemy is in an uproar. Let's find out what the set apart scripture says. Lucas, or Luke 21, verse 20. Five, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars upon the earth, the stress of nations. You're seeing it all with perplexity. The sea and the waves ruin. Men's hearts fell in them for fear. You're seeing people die young. And for looking after those things which are coming up on the earth, they so focused on what's happening, they're losing it. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. That's why you keep your mind on him. He said in Isaiah, Yeshua Yahu 26, verses 3 and 4, he said, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on me because he trusts in me. 
Trust in Yah forever, for Yah Yahuwah is everlasting strength. Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6 says, Trust in Yahuwah with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him. He said he shall, and he will direct your path. Now let me read verses 27 and 28 in Luke 21. It says, And then shall they see. This is what's going to happen. All this stuff going to take place. Remember, he's going to come back on a feast day. That's the set apart prophetic schedule. He's coming back on that feast day. The feast of trumpets. He's coming back. Now listen at this, the 27th verse, let me read again. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up. I told you, you got to look up and lift up your heads. He didn't say bow your heads down. He said lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. Hallelujah. He's telling the saints, stay prepared, stay watchful, keep your eyes open. Hallelujah. He that endured to the end the same shall be saved. You got to be watching always in prayer and in supplication. Watch, saints. Be on the lookout. Because the enemy is going to come in, but like a flood, the rug Hakadesh will lift up a standard against him. Saints, Yah has our back. He loves us. No weapon formed shall prosper. Shalom.